Shadow Fang. Nothing, Wait, I don't think this is it. Nothing personnel. Kid. Well, we'll see. Oh, oh shit. Uh, yeah. Three, oh. two. Oh. Hey, guys. Yeah, welcome back. This place it literally didn't look, look like city. it. It didn't even look like it, I swear, from the Higher outside. Buck Rum. It looked like a forest. This place is a total wreck. Well, I mean, this is the place I got fucking hit. I know. By an earthquake that wasn't stopped by the EPA. <laughs> Those poor motherfuckers didn't stand a chance. <laughs> oh, shit. You want to know why they got fucked and why their fucking blast deal was stolen? Why? It was probably stolen by the same assholes that are here now that took over the city. They literally set it up so that the city would be destroyed. Everyone would leave and fuck off or get killed. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. It's this one. Oh, shit. What? And now I'm going to kill you. So we were wrong. Nan's a cute girl. Yeah, she is. Yeah. So. Traitor. Fuck, right? Ooh. Ooh. That fucking blade of hers, though. Still making excuses, huh? Uh huh. Um. Excuse? I beat an egg bear just like I said I would. More lies. I mean it. No, no, no. We can back up that. Yeah. Remind me who it was that said, I swear I won't run away this time. Yo. Is that who I think it is? I'm pretty sure that's Winnie Lee. Yeah. <laughs> Even we've already fired you. Jeez. Wait. I'm fired? You have been warned by the hunting blades. Leave this area at once. If you fail to heed this warning, oh, you man. Do so at the risk of your own lives. You think we're scared? Man. Well, looks like you're out of a job, kid. God damn, man! This third act breakup is going a long way. Yes, <laughs> everyone's breaking up at this point. Right? I mean, these two almost broke uh, up. Do you think we're scared? We weren't allowed to enter. But what about the risking our lives part? Eh, whatever. Are you implying that I should listen to that brat? <laughs> Don't make me laugh. <laughs> make us laugh. <laughs> Let's have a look around. But damn, man! So that's the lore. The Blood Alliance took the fucking Blastia Corp from the city. The earthquake <laughs> happened. They fucking Carol fled. fired. Why did it have to end up like this? They said, they said I was fired. Carol, keep your spirits up. Can't be happy anymore. It's like her words are a dagger in my heart. Aww. She was just worried it'd be too dangerous for you. There's still hope. <laughs> no. You, you think so? Whatever. I don't care about what you do. <laughs> <laughs> right. Yeah. I don't care about I don't care about Nan at all and her pretty hair and those eyes. And what? That, and that giant fucking crescent moon blade she's got. <laughs> right. I guess being being part of the hunting blades mean you have to have oversized weapons. Right. Right? I mean look at Carol. Oh my god, you know what I totally wanna see? What? I want to see the guild master of the hunting blades. I hope he's like a fucking three foot tall dwarf with, with like, like a gigantic battle axe. It's like ten feet tall. What the fuck are these? Uh, I don't know. Little yeah. frauds. Spike. Can't even say that shit. It said spike and then a T at the end. The fuck. I mean, we could find out, but and then got thorn wiggle. wiggle. Literally, somebody took the little frog, little fucking putty shits, and then just added spikes. Oh, so dangerous. Mm, well so then. menacing. Well then, I guess this is their edgy teenage phase. Oh god, that's on the belt. Yeah. Hold on. I tasted Chick Fil A from yesterday. <laughs> oh my god! Holy Jesus. shit! Wait. Was this town really destroyed by an earthquake? The buildings all look kind of strange. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. It was an inside job. One of the members of the EPA was actually a member of the Blood Alliance. Oh my god. Got me. Yo, that fucking face Carol has right now. So why should we care? You actually have a point there. 
Oh, we right about that. Wait, what was I gonna do? Oh. Yeah, what were you gonna do? Last year. <clears throat> A warp last year? If I can excuse me? Oh shit, are we getting fast travel now? Are we? Um. Huh. Alright, so I guess, we'll, we're, I guess we're gonna find the switch. Sweet. Too bad. Alright. It will lead to something interesting. Mm. So, are you implying that this is uh, some interesting shit? Sure, maybe we can shit? find it. I'm thinking it's probably like. To oh, oh my, my god. Fuck. Are you serious? Sorry if I hurt you. Oh. No, don't be sorry. Man, those bikes reach far as shit, though. Dude, they're fucking bullshit. Good thing you're back there, huh, Paige? Exactly. You want revenge? Bring it! <laughs> well, I don't think they can get revenge if they're dead. No, they can't. Uh, what if but... they never kill their enemies? Just knock them out. Interesting. Hmm. It almost would be a crime of the century. Sorry if I hurt you! Yeah, it would be. That fucking movie. I will never not laugh at that movie. Which movie? Crime of the Century. Crime of the Century? Or it was the Crime of the Age. One of those, but yeah. Alright, what was it about? I don't know where it was before. Uh, I brought it up a long time ago, but yeah, I'll bring it up again. But basically, it was this fucking movie where this detective goes to a summer camp that's not open just yet. Oh! Oh! Yeah. Oh! Yeah, that... I remember now. You remember now? Yeah. yeah. Do you remember? No, I okay. don't remember. So basically, the summer camp isn't open yet, and someone stole a Bible. <laughs> and the detective is trying to figure out who, who stole, stole the, the Bible. Bible. And then literally, he questions everyone, and he asks them the same three fucking questions every time. And then he always ends What's it with like, hmm, interesting. interesting. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> so what's uh, the plot twist? The plot twist is that the owner of the Bible stole the Bible. So it wasn't stolen. The crime of the century, Paige! That sounds like a bad movie. <laughs> it was literally a, a fucking Christian religious movie. It was fucking hilarious. Oh god, that's yeah, why. It was fucking hilarious. No, no, but then the movie went super meta at the very end. Uh -huh. It's like the the guy, the detective was talking to the camp counselor owner. Uh -huh. And then he just like stops in the middle of it. It's like, hold on, wait a second. He looks towards the camera like, hey you. Yeah, you there, sitting watching this movie. It's like, Fuck. <laughs> it's like I can see you're having doubts about this. That you're thinking that, you know, this is all funny. You shouldn't take this seriously, but yeah, I know what you're thinking. And it like really went meta for a minute, and then it just ended after that shit. It's just like, okay, what uh, the fuck? What? This is not what I asked to see. Yeah, the shit was fucking weird. But then again, there's a bunch of weird. uh Christian centric movies like that, like uh, God, I'm trying to remember one. Uh, the Pretender was one. That was a funny one. The Pretender. Yeah, where this guy was just like, oh, he was a fucking uh, playboy and shit in high school, and uh, he's like, oh man, I basically yes, been with like this. all hot girls and shit, but like one hot girl that he hadn't been with yet was like this super religious girl. Mm, why does it sound like Christian Mingle? Strange no, 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 bat. No. You don't remember the Christian Mingle movie that we... <laughs> Jesus. You don't remember that one? Wasn't that one fucking fun? That no, I'm just weird. saying that the movie... Like, the movie you're talking about right now sounds a lot like Christian Mingle. No, no. It? here I know, it sounds just like that one. The difference is, though, it, it's the guy pretending that he's Christian. No, of course. No, yeah. Uh, yeah. And the then he really is... becomes Christian, and then... <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, basically. It ends like that. Mmm... Straw hmm. hat. Except the best part is that... Okay, here's where it gets fucking funny and weird. Sure. Um, basically, at the end of it, he doesn't become a Christian for the girl. Instead, he becomes Christian for this guy friend that he made that who was also a Christian. And he just basically used him for the movie to be like, Oh, yeah, sure, man. 
hey, tell me, you know, uh, what do we Christian guys do? Because, you know, I just recently converted. It's like a dead end. You know, it's like so I just recently converted around. to Christianity. So what do Christians do for fun? <laughs> like, he was doing it like that. It's like, yeah, man, what do Christians do? It's like, you know, normally I just, like, I would smoke weed and shit and all that good stuff. But, hey, what do Christians do for fun? You read the Bible. Would never be up on a door, open a door like... Mm. I wouldn't want Captain Carroll to dirty his hands on such, such a filthy, filthy door. door. <laughs> oh, right. <laughs> Fucking Yuri. Yuri, why oh, do you play along with this shit? About the Captain Carroll shit. Wouldn't it be crazy if a monster just gobbled up your foot right now? Just a giant munch and oops. oops no more play. <laughs> That's why he plays. Let's find a me. Let's go inside. That's why he plays along with What am I going to test them? Yes. Oh my god. Yuri, you're so mean. <laughs> what are you talking about? That's like Yuri's the best. <laughs> Holy shit! That is a lot of frogs. Yeah. Not even gonna lie. But yeah, so then he does all this shit. But no, the one he actually has the best chemistry with isn't the girl, it's that guy that I was talking about. So did he go gay for the guy? No. They literally he just went become Christian. actual he actually became Christian and he became best friends with that Christian guy. Yeah. <laughs> That sounds and almost borderline gay. No, no, even better. It's like, there was one line in the movie, and it just made me lose my shit over that fucking line. Why? It was the Christian guy. He's like, hey, man, when I come to Jesus, I come all the way. <laughs> I can't. When I come I with Jesus, Jesus, I, I come, come all, all the way. way. I can't. I can't do it. You can't come to Jesus. No, 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 no. That's not what I'm talking about. <laughs> what, with these fucking movies? It's just, it's too easy. What's this do? It's too easy. Get it's your gubby mutts off it. I don't want to have to tell you again. Oh, it's a boss, yeah? An activation oh, the switch. switch to the warp blast, yeah. There it is. It's so dark, though. I can't see shit. The fuck? Speaking of, uh... So you like movies that got meta towards you at the end. It doesn't have enough you know air. What? You know what? 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 Air? Yeah, magic. Yeah. Go, 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 bike. Fucking. Have you guys ever sat down and watched the Spice Girls movie? Yes. Yes. I went to movie theaters to I watch that thing. I own the Spice Girls movie on VHS. Thank you very much. <laughs> and watched it on repeat constantly. It worked. Oof. Yes, I enjoyed that movie. Unironically enjoyed no, the no, shit no, out no, of no, no, like I enjoyed watching the movie Whoa, too in theaters like... as a kid, but I remember I remember when the movie was over, like the credits were about to roll, like I immediately got out of my seat and then I was literally walking down the aisle. I was the only one walking down the aisle and then it gets to the point where the Spice Girls are talking to the audience watching the movie. And they're like, Hey you Yeah you over there I'm like Is she talking to me? <laughs> Did you enjoy the movie? <laughs> like, I was losing my proverbial shit. I'm like, the movie's talking to me! Right. What, did the movie actually pull a, uh, hey, you know, did you enjoy the movie? Yeah, at the at when the credits were rolling. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> so I lost my shit. Because <laughs> I was just a little git when I watched it. <laughs> so, so I can only imagine. So I was, just, I was just gullible and believed it. You're just like, uh... Whoa. Huh? Whoa! Yeah. Woof. Nice. Man, I'm I'm, I'm slightly crazy. spooked. All right. I'm sp I'm spitefully spooked. Oh yeah, Audrey. You're just, slightly spooked. Audrey just asked uh, in the group chat, it's like, oh, after karaoke, you guys want to watch the PlayStation Experience? Oh shit, that's going on. On that same day. Yeah. Um, no, I'd rather just play Monster Hunter. <laughs> I'll watch PlayStation Experience after I'm done with the beta that weekend. You know what I'm actually surprised at? What? Nat actually responded going like, yeah, I'm down. I'm down for it I'm actually cause... surprised at that because, you know, Nat was the one going like, yo, I gotta play that beta. <laughs> right. Alright. Look, I, look. I'm just gonna make sure that next week I'm gonna get ready early. So I can play a good bunch of the beta before we go out, and then I'll do everything that we're talking about. I was like, okay, we're going this, we're going to Password karaoke place. One. We're yeah. gonna sing our hearts out. Then I'll watch the PlayStation experience to everyone. This will be a good time. Go home, 
<laughs> Fucking do more shit. Play right. more of the beta. A research note from a an care program. The word light is written on it. Oh. Light the way. Uh, I guess so. That would be the password. And so I guess we'll find out more on the next thing? episode. Yep. Take care, guys. Bye. Bye. Hi, this is Lewis from Why Not Play. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. And hey, leave a like, dislike, comment down below. Let us know what you thought about it. Subscribing is always good because we put out two videos every single day. And hey, we got our social media and our Twitch links down in the description below. So with that being said, hope you enjoyed the video and take care, guys. Bye.